Hey everybody, it's Sam with Mesa, and today I'm gonna walk you through a recent move out that we had on a condo uh, that we manage, a tenant that we actually did not place, we took over mid-tenancy, uh, and the condition is not so great. This is kind of what a lot of people I think are scared of, uh, especially first-time landlords. And when I talk to first-time landlords and uh, they, they share with their concerns with me about renting their home out, or people that are considering becoming landlords or renting their home out, one of the number one things I hear is I'm worried the tenant's gonna destroy my house. and you, you kind of have to ask, well, what do you mean by that? What, what's the real concern there? Some people are worried about um, something extreme, right? Like cement in the drains and then they flood the house or they burn it down. Most people though think that the tenant's gonna leave the place looking like this place does. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like, what a not so great move out looks like. And then at the end, we'll talk about whether or not this is really that big of a deal. Okay, so walking into the front of this condo, uh, we'll take a look and see what it looks like. And I can already tell you from the outside, I have concerns because uh, why is there a chair here? That's not a good sign. It doesn't look like somebody who maybe fully moved out. And so right when you walk in, oh, I thought this was gonna be a vacant condo. This tenant brought keys in and said, hey, I'm done. Uh, thank you very much. I've all moved out. Everything's good and left. And this is, uh, this is what we walked into. So first impression, you get kind of the shock factor when you walk in thinking, okay, they probably, you know, first of all, moved all their stuff out. Second of all, probably got it cleaned, maybe did a carpet cleaning, uh, something. And uh, we've got a lot of junk in here. We've got really nasty carpets. So behind the couch, this is really some of the only uh, real damage that you can see in the home. Uh, and this is really just from the couch, I think being pushed up against the wall. It's just surface drywall damage. It's really not that bad. And then out on the patio, just a lot of junk out there. It's not, it's not cleaned up for sure. They left the satellite dish, which is, can be a pain to get rid of. And what I cannot convey to you through this video is the smell in this place. It's not, it's not good. Uh, but, but that's okay. So just, just kind of initially, as a, especially as a first time landlord, and this is what you're expecting, like, see, that's what I'm telling you. I don't want to rent my place out because my tenants are going to leave it looking like this. And that looks like a ton of work. And I don't even know how much that's going to cost. What is, how do we even fix this? And, and I don't even want to do this again. Let's just sell it. And I understand that. Or if you're on the other side, you're going, I don't, you know, it's not even worth it for me to get into this in the first place if this is what my condo is going to look like. Coming into one of these uh, first bedrooms, though, you can see, uh, oh, man, it's, it's pretty, pretty bad. The carpet's really, really dirty. This windowsill's got, like, a whole spider colony living here. You can see them there, just there's in there, uh, along with this uh, black fungus-like substance, potentially mold, not really sure. Uh, here we've got blinds on the ground. This one too, more broken uh, window blinds there. I don't know, I guess, uh, I guess cleaning your window sills is hard to do. This bathroom's a little bit worse uh, than the other one was for sure, so it's got a pretty gnarly scent. Shower's pretty gross. Again, uh, with the black substance on the ceiling, a substance that tends to grow in damp conditions. Ways that this could have been prevented, let's talk about that first, definitely inspections. If you had been coming in here and noticing the tenant was keeping it this way, uh, you can remedy that, especially the air filter, uh, the mold, stuff like that. Those are all things that you can talk to a tenant about and say, hey, you need to fix this. The lease should say something about maintaining the premises uh, in, in a habitable condition, which this is not. So inspections are huge. We're big advocates of regular, uh, we call them safety inspections at Mesa Properties, and uh, to, to try and catch this before it becomes this. And then you catch it on a move out and it's very surprising and shocking and oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened to me. Now, is this really that big of a deal? Let's talk about that. I would submit to you, no, it's not that big of a deal. And here's why. We looked at the sinks, we looked in the kitchen, we looked at the all the different areas that water can enter this home. Yeah, there's a little bit of surface mold, but there's nothing major. There's no real structural damage. The general condition, bad, however, really not that bad. And the reason is, let's, let's just do a little bit of basic math here. So this, again, not a tenant that we place, and the tenants that we place typically don't leave homes like this. Um, but let's just say this tenant was here for five years, and that's about what this was. And uh, she was paying an average, there's some rent increases in there, uh, but she's paying an average of say $2,000 per month over that the course of that tenancy. Now, average $2,000 a month and five years, that's, that's uh, 60 months. So this owner made $120,000 in income over the last five years. 
Now, this may be a shocking thing to see that it that looks like this when she left, but what we're gonna do is we're having our contractor come in, he's gonna clean this all up, new carpet, new paint, we're gonna do some uh, a couple of additional upgrades, and then I'm gonna walk back through at the end and I'm gonna show you how this place looks when we're done, and then what the total cost was to get it back to that condition, and then really to show you that it's not that bad. So we'll look at the total amount of rent that the owner collected over the course of this tenancy, and then we'll look at how much it costs to get this place back up to snuff so that we can either rent it or sell it, uh, and then we'll, we'll see, is that, was it worth it? Was this really that bad? And after five years, you know, some of this stuff, the carpet is just old. It's gross. It's dirty. I wouldn't keep my house like this, but carpet gets old. It needs to be replaced. Same thing with the paint. It's also gross, but paint has a useful life too. You got to repaint every once in a while. And that's the owner's expense after a certain period of time. Now, if this tenant had moved out after one year and it looked like this, a lot of this is going to come out of their security deposit. So if you have a good security deposit, you can, you can remedy this with that deposit. If the tenant's been here for a long time, a lot of this stuff needs to be done anyway. It's still not how we want our tenants to leave our homes. However, um, some of this is expected and the expense to get this back up to what it needs to be is really, I think, gonna be less than what you think. And then when we do that analysis, you will see this really wasn't that bad. It can be a lot worse. So don't let something like this freak you out from renting out your home. You can still make a lot of money as a landlord in Southern California. So check back, hit the subscribe button. We'll post another video, like I said, walk through when the thing's all said and done. And you'll see that even when a tenant leaves a house not so great, it's not the end of the world.